Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to figure out the code on a combination safe. This is a Century 3100, uh, but it works on a lot of different safes. I've done it many, many times on many different safes. But, so you open it up. This, for this to work, it has to be open. Um, so you open it up and then you remove. If there's anything that's back here that covers up the gears, you're going to want to remove that so that you can see the uh, discs in here. So this determines what the combination is. And I'm going to set up my tripod so I can use both my hands for this next part. Alright, so I have no idea what the combination is, but I can turn the hand on the front that would lock it. And then I can spin the dial. You want to spin it three times so that you engage all of the uh, discs. Alright, so now now it's locked. All right, so now I can't work the handle. I'm going to try it. All right, so see, now it's locked. So, but this is how you figure it out. So you have to spin these until they're in line with this piece here. Spin the disc. So, and you're working from the back to the front. So I'm turning this thing right. All right, so you can see, uh, I'm going to have to move the camera a little bit. You can see this coming around here, that, that back disc is about to be lined up with the plunger. All right, so now check what that number is. Looking at the front of the safe, that number is 66. So I'm going to use a pen and a paper and write that down. 66. So it's twisting right, and then now left, you're going to want to go past 66 once again. Alright, so now you see how it's, now we're moving the second disc and we're not moving that first one. Alright, now you can see right there it lines up. So now note the number. And that number is three. All right. And then now we go back the other direction one more time to get that last disc lined up. And we'll check the number. And it is 46. And that should do it for us. You can see, now we're able to unlock it. All right, so now we will lock the safe with it closed and make sure that this combination actually works. Alright, so we shut the safe, we lock it, and then we... There we go, so now, now it's locked, all the discs have been reset, so now without the code you're not going to get in there. Alright, so we got to make sure we spin it at least three times so that we get all the discs in line. And then we go back to 65, or 66, yeah, 66. And then pass 66 one time and get to three. All right, and then we go back to 45. There we are. And so that's how you can find out the combination on safes that are set up like this with this wafer system. As long as you have the door open, you can always figure out the combination.